right now let's take a look at a map reducer okay so just click on a map reducer map reducer is uh, again we will cover that topic in in detail about the emr so for example emr is a type of a cluster that allows you to run the big data or a hadoop um, uh, architecture it allows you to it suppose that architecture that means you can run some map reducer job onto your cluster and using this this architecture so now for example let's say if you want number of cpus as 16 and memory is like 60 gb you want all the instances on linux platform and availability zone as 1b i want at least 50 instances right now so what you will do is this is your cost for 50 instances cc2x large and this is the price that you will get for 14.93 you are saving on an average 85 percent with this concept so now let's just change it to 120 instance there you go when you change it to 120 gb ram you can get all these instances and just you can configure your fleet with that so what will happen if i3 4x is not available you will get i2 8x to meet this particular configuration okay now we will not create a spot fleet right now we'll just create a spot instance or we'll just request a spot instance a check right now okay let's just go to ec2 okay click on running instances now just go to the spot request click on request a spot instance button let's just go ahead and request a only a one time spot re request spot instance request right if you want to go with the duration that I want my spot instance for at least six hours, you can also go with this. In this option, you are just guaranteed for one hour. After one hour, if somebody put a higher bid, that means your, your instance may just go away. Okay. Now let's just specify the target capacity. You can specify in terms of instances or in terms of virtual CPUs. What is the AMI that you want to use? These are all the list of AMIs that are available. Amazon Linux, Ubuntu Server, Amazon Linux AMI. So let's just pick Amazon Linux AMI on EBS. Okay. Let's select a, a list of instance type. I want something with uh, eight cpus and uh, maybe 70 60 mb gb ram so i'll go with c3 8x large get this so i want whatever i get from this at a lower price i will accept it also let's just do it for a micro instance t21 right so you you don't have to pay that much price for this so whatever i get in this three instances at a lower price i will get this instance okay allocation strategy should be just on a lowest price you can also specify the vpc because sometimes if your company's computer network has two vpcs one is publicly facing that means all the users across the internet can access a IaaS server or can access a web server that is deployed over there. And second is a private uh, virtual private network. So what will happen in case of virtual private uh, this VPC, whatever you deployed over there that is not accessible to the outside world. So right now we'll just keep it as uh, this network VPC, right? We'll just keep the same one. 
availability zone you can select the availability zone that i just want it in one a or one p or one c or one d or one e now for us let's just keep it on the any region we get we'll just pick this one you can also set a maximum price here that for our maximum i want to pay is 50 cents that's all i would like to pay and you can just go to pricing history and check this out right as well so just go to the t1 micro and you have noticed that i have received the constant price for the linux environment for t1 micro is close to not even a one cent right because nobody is using that right now so we'll just put like 50 cents to see how whether we get the instance or not click next button now as you guys notice you do have an option to attach a root volume or a ebs volume with this now what will happen even if your spot instance goes away you can still keep the volume with you so you can also configure such a way that when you receive a new spot instance you can easily attach this particular volume with your instance so that you do not lose any data okay you can enable the cloudwatch monitoring or uh, or not right and let's just look at the key and value pair create a new key value pair So just do sample spot instance that would be our key okay now this is the fleet role security group these are all the existing groups that you have created but let's just create a new security group as well what are the things you want to allow it for the inbound let's say for the inbound i want only rd HTT, or i just want rdp allowed and from anywhere so from any ip address i would like to allow rdp session for the outbound i just want to allow the http traffic or https traffic to anywhere that's my rule you can just name this just put it as a description as well click create yeah, there you go so now your security group is also created just go back to the screen and just refresh this one just select the spot instance group and you can just go to auto assign ipv4 public you can just keep this as it is or if you have a specific subnet that you just want to use that subnet and have assigned ip address from that subnet only you can do that too okay yeah. you can specify that the request is valid from now until just tomorrow maybe you know you can just specify that i just want this to be active for only two days only a day terminate the instance at the expiration so once this is expired you can just go ahead and terminate this instance so let's just review the settings one more time go to review and let's just review it so you are requesting only one time spot instance your target capacity is just one you are requesting the amazon linux ami you are requesting the instance type c3 large c3 38x large and t1 micro so whichever one is available for a cheaper price you will get that allocation strategy is the lowest price so whatever is available for the lowest in all three things will be will be available to you this is a max price that maximum bid is going to be 50 cents so you will not go above 50 cents okay your ima iam pleat role that is the ec2 node 
your network is gonna be this VPC availability zone you don't have any preference with whatever one gets you for free you will use that availability zone security group that's what you have and that's the one that you just created right now security group right that's what this shows up spot instance group that you are that's what you have and whatever you see is will be this id 3a663f45 this is your group name okay now user data Key pair name is a sample spot instance. Uh, you are using the root volume as this. Again, you can easily keep the backup for this particular volume and you can just attach it with some other instance as well. Monitoring is yes, tenancy is default, request valid from now, request valid until this date, terminate instance at expiration. Just review it for a few minutes and then we're going to talk about a JSON config. You can also go and open up this JSON file that got generated with this request, right? So let me just open it up. So this is your JSON file that got generated with this. Uh, you can also use it with the Amazon API, right? And just request this instances and you can see the same information over here as well. What is your target capacity, spot price, valid from valid uh, until launch specification. All those things are available as well. Now, whenever we go towards uh, automating the cloud infrastructure, at that time, all these things would be very useful. You can also use a program, like if you are writing a Java program, you can directly call this uh, JSON file and start creating the instances that's also a possibility all right so let's just minimize this and go back and just go ahead and request the spot instance so just go ahead and click launch spot request has been successfully created so just go there and it is in a request mode right now okay let's just see if whenever we get it it will be uh, the status is updated it may take some time to fulfill our request. So let's just wait for a few minutes. But when you see the status as running, right now it is just submitted. This is your request type is fleet, either or this. And we have requested at such a low price, maximum price. So we may not even get a single instances at this price. But let's just wait for a few minutes and see if we get anything. There you go. So now, we got two instances one is a t1 micro and this request is still pending so we got it at a maximum price of dollar 20 or 20 or 0.2 cents even though we have paid it at such a higher price now just go to the instances there you go this is your own instance now and you can connect it the same way as you did it through the putty gen and putty. So this is your instance, the spot instance that got generated with the bid that you placed, right? Uh, and as you guys go here, you can literally see the bid that was successfully done. It was fulfilled. The other one, it is still in a pending fulfillment because we are not getting at this price. So that's why it is still fulfilled right uh, you can also go ahead and just cancel the spot request that i don't want this one so that is gone you can also go ahead and just uh, uh, delete this spot request just saying that i don't want this one either so this is just for practice once the spot instance request is fulfilled 
you can just go to the instance and you can start using this instance as your regular instance and it will stay with you until somebody places the higher paid on this okay so just go ahead and terminate this and just also terminate the spot request it will be deleted soon as soon as the instances are done as soon as the instances terminated your request would be terminated too all right thank you for watching this video